This episode is sponsored by Rover. Click thumbs up for Juice, subscribe to my channel, and pick up a copy of my book. It goes great with my videos. And if you want better access to me, join us on Patreon. I'll have a link below. A new dog can be an incredible addition to the family, but there's a few things you should consider before bringing a new dog into your life. Getting a new dog means that you're gonna have a lot less time to do your regular daily activities. The Rover app is awesome for those times when you need that little bit of extra help to give your dog the care and attention that they deserve. You can't do that. You can get 24 seven access to pet care from in-home boarding to daycare, pet sitting, and even dog walking. And you can quickly book and pay all within the app. I think you accidentally just booked your own drop-in visit. You're paying for it. I wonder if we can get someone who's gonna let you bite them all day. It's really great for those days when you have to be away from home a little bit longer than expected and you need someone to drop in at the last minute to give your dog a walk. So if you want Thursday, Friday, but not Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, and you've got two dogs, you can adjust how much you're willing to spend here. You can check out reviews, read detailed descriptions of how they'll interact with your dog, or there's three people within six miles who have five stars. And if it keeps your dog from destroying your house, it's probably money well spent. They'll even send you a map of their exact walking route, complete with potty spots. I mean, we really do live in an incredible time, don't we? Visit rover.com slash Zach George and enter promo code Zach George when you check out and you'll get $25 off your first booking. I'll have a link in the description. Before deciding whether or not you're ready to be a new dog parent, weigh the pros and cons. I mean, almost every aspect of your life is going to be heavily influenced by the arrival of a new dog. There are three main things that I think are really important to consider before saying yes to a new dog. First, time. You have the time to raise a new dog. Raising the perfect pet takes serious time. Your dog's gonna need daily exercise, and I've found that you get the most bang for your buck when you exercise your dog early in the day. That means for most of you, you'll have to wake up earlier each day and give your dog the attention he needs before you go to work or start the rest of your day. So if you work long hours, you'll need to bring your dog to doggy daycare, get a dog walker, or break up your shift so that you can come home and give your dog a break yourself. You'll have to commit to taking your dog all over the place, number one, so that they can become well socialized, and secondly, they can learn how to behave in all types of situations. I know, being a YouTube star is so much work, isn't it? It takes about one year of really teaching a dog how to listen to you in lots of different scenarios before you can expect them to generalize communication. And you know what? That takes a lot of your time. Second, cost. I mean, sure, there's the adoption or breeder fee, and that's usually between a hundred and up to thousands of dollars. Your initial vet visit, which can be a few hundred bucks, general supplies, maybe a few hundred dollars, and spaying or neutering. Now, of course, a benefit to adopting a dog from a shelter or a rescue is that many of these initial costs and procedures are included in the adoption fee. But look, these costs are insignificant compared to how much money you're going to have to spend on your dog over the course of their life. For example, a proper quality food can definitely be pricey. Your dog's gonna need yearly shots and monthly preventatives like flea tick and heartworm pills, which are an additional several hundred dollars a year. And medical emergencies, well, they're not exactly rare and they can cost at minimum hundreds of dollars, but more likely thousands of dollars. And over the course of your dog's life, their vet bills are likely to get more expensive. So really think about whether or not you can afford to provide a lifetime of quality care. And if you want help with professional training, well, that can get pretty expensive too. But fortunately, I've got all of the free dog training content you could ever want right here on this YouTube channel. If you can afford these costs, that's really nothing compared to how much dogs really enrich our lives. Next, patience. I mean, you've got to be prepared to be mega patient so that your dog can learn what you expect of them. Puppies are going to have to be potty trained, so that means that accidents are inevitable, as is the classic puppy biting phase, which can be a major inconvenience and it can last for months if it goes unaddressed and even if you do address it it can still last for weeks the more patient you are the faster your results will be i'm gonna have a playlist in the description that'll show you how to teach your dog all of the basics and beyond for free and in order you're subscribed right check out rover.com slash zach george and enter promo code zach george when you check out to get 25 dollars off your first booking that link will be in the description give deuce a thumbs up he did great today and i'm answering a lot of your individual questions on video over on Patreon. So if you want better access to me, go check those out. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Good job, buddy.